Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bench workout for you. So if you find yourself outdoors in um, a park or on a walking trail, here is a perfect workout for you that we are going to do today. Um, back at home, what I like to do is when I walk a walking path or jog one or even bicycle, every time I see a bench, I'll stop and I'll do this quick workout, but I'll just do one set of it. Today we're gonna do a couple different sets um, and we're just gonna knock it out. Now, if you are not at a park and you're like, well, Summer, I thought this was a home workout. I don't have a p park bench in my home. That's okay. You can do this with, um, you can do this with your couch. You can do this with a chair. You can do this with your counter. You can just use or utilize whatever you have around your house to make this work as well. So let's get started. So first, what I do is when I come up into a bench, um, I will go on the outside of it. So I'll go right behind it. Um, and then what I do first is I do pushaways. You have seen me do these before. So you stand a little bit of, away from the bench. And what you wanna do is you wanna fall into it, into a push-up position, do a push-up, and then push yourself away, pushing those arms back behind you. So let's do 10. Here we go, that's one, two. And you wanna make sure you're falling down into where it's like long, your chest area that's when you know you have a good um, position just fall right down into it and then push away all right you guys we have four more four three two last one one great now what we're gonna do is we're just going to do um, we're gonna hold a push-up position so you're gonna get into a push-up position right here and I want you to alternate bringing those knees up into the chest area we're gonna do 10 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 nice now what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine both those moves so we're going to fall into that push-up position, hold the push-up position, we're gonna do four knees, okay? And then we're gonna push away, all right? So here we go. Fall down into that push-up, four knees. One, two, three, four, push it away, push behind you. Again, one, two, three, four, push it away and behind you. One, two, three, four, Push it away and behind you. One, two, three, four. Nice job, guys. Keep on going. We don't have too many more left. You got this. Go on down. Bring those knees up. Push it away. Woo, let's do two more. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Push it away. Nice. Again, one, two, three, four and push away. Awesome job, guys. Great job. Now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna come a little closer so I can let you know. Our arms, our hands are gonna be closer together. We're gonna work those triceps. We're gonna do tricep push-ups, but on an angle using the back part of the bench here. So what those are gonna look like, you're gonna be right here. I just want you to go down just a little and then you're gonna go right back up. When you go up, I want you to make sure to squeeze the back of that arm. So come on back here. Get those arms a little closer. You wanna be in like a plank position. Stomach always in nice and tight. And then with those elbows, you wanna make sure they're super close to that body, just right here. And then you wanna go right back out. So if you notice, I'm not going down all the way. I'm just going a little bit, just right here. And then right back up. I go to where my elbows touch my rib cage. And then I go straight again straightening those tricep muscles, squeezing them right here. And do one more. Nice. All right, now we're gonna go to the front part of the bench. I want you to sit up nice and tall. Sorry, I am near a uh, airport. <laughs> All right, make sure your feet are nice and flat up against. Now, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna do this, okay? You wanna make sure those feet are um, straight down and it, they are flat. Put your arms up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do sit downs. You're gonna stand up, pushing back, 
and then you're gonna sit right back down. We're gonna do 10 of those, whoops. Huh, I lost my balance there. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, stomach's in nice and tight, five, four, three, one more, or two more, excuse me, one more now, nice. Okay, now what we are going to do, um, this bench was a little challenging, so let me just, uh, go through this part first. The reason why it was a little more challenging, I kept losing my thing, it actually slides down, um, which I'm not used to. I'm used to them being straight. So if that happens, just try to sit your butt up at that last one, because if you go like this, your footing will go off. And that's what I was um, coming across. Because again, I did not practice this before making this video. <laughs> so I was finding it out while I was counting. So just make sure that you kind of sit towards the end there if you have one that slants. If not, it is a lot more easier to utilize the whole bench if you are able to. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, this time I do want you to kind of scoot up a little bit regardless of what kind of bench you have or chair or whatever you are using. What I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna do prayer hands right like this. You're going to tilt back, touch one leg and then right back up touch the opposite leg and we're going to do this 10 times. 10, 9, and my foot is flexed. I think I've come out of frame, so you can't tell, but my foot is nice and flexed when I lift it up. Switching sides, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now what we are going to do is we're going to combine the um, both of those. So. We're gonna have our arms up, we're gonna sit, stand up, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna stand up again. All right, so arms up, here we go, and stand, sit down prayer, one, two, three, four, stand up again, stand, down, prayer, one, two, three, four, stand up, sit down, here we go, one, two, three, four, stand up, sit down, prayer, one, two, three, four, all right, you guys, we have four more to do, we will be done with this part, all right, three more, Prayer, one, flex feet. Two more, whoops, I did my arms wrong, I think. Ha <laughs> ha, one, two, three, four, last one. I didn't mess up my arms, oh well. One, two, three, and four. Nice job guys, I'm gonna move you just a little bit, so watch out need a little bit more room so you guys can see me this is going to be our last move so what you do is you're going to have your hands right here you're going to be in a plank position you're going to put your right hand up on the top left hand on the top right hand down left hand down and then you're going to alternate left hand up right hand up right here i clap to switch sides come and join me now what i like to do is have my legs open a little bit to support my lower back and my spine. And you wanna make sure you're not rocking. If you are rocking, your feet are probably too close together, just open that up and have that stomach nice and tight. And just keep on going. Here we go, we have four more. That's four, three, two, Right, guys that's the workout for next time you are at a park or you come across a park bench I highly recommend to kind of challenge yourself next time you are walking bicycling 
or jogging a walking path every time you come up to a bench do this workout if you can't remember the whole thing just do a couple of the exercises until you get to the next one so every time you see one on that path knock this out I guarantee you are going to feel it and it is going to be amazing great full body workout and you'll just feel great that you did it when you get back anyway please give me a thumbs up on this uh, video and um, if you haven't yet please subscribe Make sure though that you hit that bell icon. That way you will know when I um, post a new workout. And here's to a healthier you guys. Peace out.